Hey everyone, welcome to Review Time. I'm your host, Islip, and today I'm going to be doing a review of AKO. In case you have not read the thing up there that tells you the stuff that I'm going to do, I'm going to be reviewing this knockoff of G1 Jetfire slash a uh, Robotech Valkyrie slash um, Macross robot fighter a macros i think the macros is a valkyrie and the uh robotech was veritech fighter anyway whatever i'm i'm reviewing this thing and uh look at the box it says new ranger up there a bunch of kanji i can't read uh super change and then it says space fighter on the bottom and then when you come to the back it shows you some more of the figures there's gold aries Motor police. I don't know what these two are from. Well, this one might be from Goldran. I don't know. Um, Space Fighter, which is the one we're reviewing today. Armored Tank. Yeah, because we can't tell who that is. Cross Truck. Not sure if that's a original figure or if a knockoff or something else. And Carve Grab, aka uh, Energon Steam Hammer. So, and then there's a bunch of stuff, and then that. And, okay, that's it for the box. And I've already opened this guy. He comes, he also comes with this piece here, but it comes separate, and it was hard to get it together, and, yeah. So, you know, just open this up. Get this figure out. Put this over to the side. Straighten out his doodle-a-legs. Doodle-a-legs. Legal-legal-legs. And there we go. Straighten out his leg so he can stand. Okay, there we go. And bring the camera down so it's just on this figure right here. And uh sorry if that's a little it's a little bright. Um let's see if I turn this light off. What help out with can't reach it. There we go. Did it help out? A little bit. I mean, you can't really see the details because it's white on white. And the camera does not pick it up very well. But I'll bring it up closer. And there you go. Now you can see the details. And um, the plastic quality on this is... It's okay. It's not Hasbro, not nearly. But it's not bad. It feels fairly solid. It doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon. Um, it doesn't lock into place as well as it should and it's loose and um yeah you can buy you can get this KO on eBay but it's not it's not cheap this was this was $40 i'm ashamed to say it was $40 i mean if it was like $15 $20 i'd have been like hey you know this is a good buy but it was 40 and that is in no way a good buy not for the quality of this figure but if you don't have a G1 Jetfire. You don't mind doing a little paint because that right there is wrong. Taking off some stickers because that right there is not not good. It's not a bad um not a bad figure to have and you know just tighten up some things like this is fine, that's fine, but um like this piece here doesn't lock in very well. You can already see he's bending over. Maybe if I tighten the screws up a little bit. Um, also, see there's some. There's a peg in there that don't belong in there. Um, they, I guess they didn't shave it down, or when they cut it, they didn't cut the sprue right. It's a little rough in areas. I got to cut that out because it's going to affect things. But um, otherwise, it's it's pretty it's pretty okay. It's oh, um, and of course you can put this on. Now getting this together was a pain in the butt, and for some reason to me it looks like it's upside down. It, it does, but you can't really put it on the other way. I don't think. Um... Unfortunately, there wasn't a picture. You know what? Hold on one second. All right. Sorry about that. Having checked, um, I do indeed have this correct. Well, these right here, for some reason, I can't get them to, to stay down like they're supposed to. I keep going, wanting to go up. That annoys me a bit, but um, not much I can do about that. So they're always going to be at an angle like this, which is fine when he's in robot mode, but in... In plain mode, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. But anyway, um, 
you just take it and see this this nub here goes into that screw hole there you see this little round recess goes over that you just put it on and the plastic on this little back piece is really flimsy it's uh, I guess what would be uh, as Blunghole likes to say shampoo bottle quality so actually I, I guess that kind of works because you don't want oh I'm doing this backwards got up slide that in there first and close push that up oh. and then close those back again all right there we go now we've got jet jet fire in his proper configuration or his or you know veritech fighter or valkyrie in its oops super mode and i think there's supposed to be more pieces there are supposed to be more pieces um but you don't get all the pieces, you just get the backpack, you don't get the arm and leg uh, guards. Now this guy is going to require some painting up if you want him to to have the proper colors because, I mean, he's got the white, he's got a bit of the red, but there's a lot more red. These are supposed to be black. Like, okay, that's, that's right, right here, these are supposed to be red. Um, the whole cockpit area around here. The top half is supposed to be red. So yeah, I, I've got a lot of paint. Like, on the toy, well, because you got the, the, the bits on there. This, these side guards would be red, and um, the outer forearms would be red if you had the guards, because they would have to, you know. But um, otherwise, I'll be honest with you, other, this is not a bad... It's not a bad figure. It's not a great figure. There's, I mean, it would be a really good figure if it wasn't for all the loose looseness issues. That's the thing that kills this figure is the looseness. I mean, otherwise, this is a pretty, pretty good knockoff, and that's what it is. It's a knockoff. Um, I got this from a seller in in California, and I'm pretty sure he got that. F I know in, in California they have some um, like Chinese stores, like stores in Chinatown or whatever that's down there that do these knockoff and stuff and I wish I could just like teleport over there and get them for the price that they were selling them there instead of you know but um again it looks pretty good let me take the gun out and as I take it out it falls down you can see the gun looks really nice it's uh it looks really nice it feels decent it feels decent I mean it's feels hollow but it doesn't feel that thin of a hollow like you can kind of see the uh how uh how thick the plastic is so let's go into articulation his head rotates side to side and it's on this little thing here so it can look down a bit um arms rotate they go in and out they rotate right there and remember this is this is based on the g1 figure so the g1 figure up i'm pretty sure had this much rotation arms do that Let's see, I think this is all the way out. No wrist, no waist. Um, legs go all the way forward. I mean, you, I guess you can move them from up here, but then this plate gets in the way. So, forward, that goes down, back, and that goes like so. And the feet just open and close. And when you close one, the other one, um, when you close one, let's turn on the lights again. So, just, there we go. When you close one, the other one closes. So, decent range of articulation come here. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually get him in any poses because of his freaking wanting to not... Like, okay, I'll show you. There's this little hook here that says open the door. Um, and it's supposed to hook in there. It would have been... It would have made more sense if the hook was actually on the bottom and my nephew wasn't screaming because he's a... You know, he he does that when he's not getting his way. He's not dying or anything. He's not getting beat or nothing. So, before y'all call CPS or SPD or or whatever, just know that much. But otherwise, it's you know, again, if it wasn't for the looseness, and I mean the stickers, they come right off. I'm probably I'm just probably gonna gonna peel them off because it looked like I went like this, and I don't see any residue. 
See? No residue. So that's one sticker now. So I'm just, might as well just take that sticker off. It says, um, UN Spacey. And I've seen UN Spacey on something else, but I don't remember what. So we can take that off. And they've got the little skull here, which they probably meant to put on here. If this would have been black, they would have put it up here. And it would have been, I think it's Rick Fockers. Um, Rick Fockers, Veritech Fighter. Or Valkyrie Fighter, or whatever they call him. Battleroid, Battleroid, Battleroid. Battleroid? I think it's a Battleroid. It might be a Battleroid. I don't know. I forget. Take this off his... Um, that look kind of... He needs to be circumcised. That's all I'm saying. Let's take that off. I know it makes him rather plain. But I think it looks better. Naked. Um, well, a little paint with a little paint will, will look better. But um, before we go into transformation, which I was just about to do, let's get him standing. Whoops, get him standing. Whoops, get him standing. Okay. And get some size comparisons. Where did I put all my bots? Oh, I didn't bring Optimus in here. I thought I did. Uh, okay, well, we'll just go with Generation Springer. Most people have that mold. And... Yeah, he's the only the only reason I took him out of the closet because he was trapped in the closet. Um. So I mean, I don't. He's. Uh, yeah, I already did a review on him, but here he goes. There he is. This guy's about eight or nine inches tall. This guy's what six inches, seven inches, something like that. Six inches. So yeah, about seven inches. But, um, so there, you, you can see, you see his size comparison. And now we go into transformation, which would normally be very simple for this guy, but because he is a knockoff, things don't quite do what they're supposed to and stay where they're supposed to. So what you're going to do is say, bless you to the person who sneezed. You're going to lift this up, and there's a little door that opens here and then you're gonna just turn the head around and try to get these things his antennae down and you're just gonna bring this to the underside like that <coughs> now you can turn it around backwards and this way it hides the the head if you want to and just put these forward that works too and you're gonna take the arms and you're going, oh, then you're going to bring this up like so, close that flap down, close this bit up right here, this bit pushes up, and that reveals more of the cockpit. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, in some of the, um, some of the Robotech Macross fighters I've uh, messed with, you would run your finger like this and it would flip the, um, the cockpit over. Well, no, you do that for the jet mode, but you would do like this, and like the cockpit would be shielded for um, for one mode, and then when you flipped it over, it would be just the regular cockpit. So, take that and fold that like that, bring that up like that, collapse that down, do the same here. Oh, no, wait, we're not turning it into jet mode, never mind. So, these stay out at the sides. Then you're going to take the legs and swivel them right here. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Swivel them right there. And then they go like so. And they're what's going to keep the arms out. Now this, this arm, for whatever reason, decides to hyperextend at, at the shoulder instead of being straight. Actually, I guess they both did that. Anyway, flip this out. Turn this around, flip this out. You can see the head just kind of dangles there because there's nothing... Like, it's supposed to peg in somewhere. You can see there's a peg there, but it doesn't do anything. It just, it's just there. Actually, I guess we can turn these nub, these uh, antennae around, and that will keep it from flapping around. And you can see already there's a problem. The legs are kind of bowing in, and that's because of that little piece of plastic there. I haven't had a chance to, to get off. But otherwise, you can do that. Then you just bring the wings out. 
and take the gun and you can put it in his hand this way or if you want to I'm pretty sure you can undersling it well now it doesn't grip very well let's see how about here yeah you can under you can undersling it let's bring the camera down some now and uh, there we go and it looks pretty good as long as you're not fiddling with it and you know shave that piece off it looks really good it it does need a little painting but it will and, and the, the paint work on here is really horrible but otherwise it looks it looks really good it looks really good it's this will if you put it on your shelf and you don't mess with it too much this would be a pretty good um, a pretty good figure to have a pretty good representation it will do your shelf okay you know I mean it's a little rough around the edges like you can let's bring this closer I don't know if you can see that these are a little um, uh, they're a little rough they're <coughs> the mold that they use seems to have you know degraded just a little bit over in the front but otherwise I'm gonna leave these strips on I think for now anyway um, I'll take them off and paint this. That that's also another piece that's supposed to go red. Um, but it looks it looks good. It looks like it's supposed to. It will, you know, the head looseness aside, you do get the. Um, so if if you want them on your Robotech shelf, you can do that. Probably a little paint, a custom paint. I mean, this is, this would be great for a custom. Maybe forty dollars was just too much because for. I don't know. It just seems too much for a knockoff for me. But it it does look good. I do like them. I am I'm happy I have them. I'm not 100% happy, but you know, there's still some things I wish I could do, but um so we'll take that off for now. And we're just going to turn them into the jet mode. And when I turn them into the standard jet mode and then we'll add the pack later. So, just close the thing hands up. And bring these out so you can fold these down like so and then fold that down like like so oh, I wonder if this is supposed to slide down oh no that's for the um, that's for something else never mind bring these like so and I thought maybe if I put it the other way it would fit better but no bring these like so oh and bring that down we're gonna just do the regular jet mode and I mean the antenna is supposed to the head and the antenna is supposed to face the other way like this but oh actually that does fit better it's not quite so loose because that's how it is on the original toy but it's just the you know it's the I can see you and then you take these and you just put them to the side nothing nothing pegs in and I don't remember if that's true of the original toy bring these out and for some reason, I have an issue with this. This doesn't want to... Uh, I can see why there's a little... I don't know, a little bit of flash or something that's keeping it from staying straight. You just bring these out. And then you got some more of those stupid skull things. And, um... That's pretty much it. This should have been the, the best mode. It should have been. On every other... Other jet fire and... Valkyrie toy I played with, well, not every other, like the one dollar um, knockoffs that were really hollow underneath. Um, the robot mode was the best, but yeah, you can see this doesn't quite quite want to work. Bring this down, maybe bring the hands down a little bit. Now, see, it doesn't, it still doesn't want to fit in there just right. And I might have to go in there and sand some pieces down to get it to do what it's supposed to I can see where the where the problem is I can see it's not quite flush over on this side over here that's eh, not not quite either but um, we gonna have to go in there and get that out but otherwise this would be a pretty good you know pretty good jet mode got the thrusters here and whatever and then you can um, put the super pack back on if you want to and that helps out that actually helps out a lot because um, because now you don't have those wings sticking up so you've got the super pack on and it doesn't 
it doesn't uh, come with, like I said, it doesn't come with all the rest of the stuff, so it's kind of an incomplete thing, but you know what, it's still pretty good. Now this, unfortunately, doesn't really store anywhere. Um, I know there's supposed to be a way to store it in, in one of the modes, but there really is not, and I'm looking online right now to see, um, to see if I can figure it out, but... Um, no, I don't. I think there's supposed to be a clip or something that's supposed to. Oh yeah, there's supposed to be a clip that clips to the arm on the outside of the arm, but it doesn't have it. You can now. What did I do? What did I do that made it? I did something and I got it to stay on somewhere. I guess you can just kind of wedge it in somewhere. But um, otherwise, just you know, G1 it and put it to the side. But here's the plane mode, and let's see, what do I have in vehicle mode? Go with Whirl. Give you an idea of this size. And, um, that's, I guess, almost kind of scale. I think G uh, Whirl needs to be just a wee bit bigger. But, um, actually, no. Actually, no, I guess that's about scale. So, yeah. Anyway, that's been my review of this knockoff of when you look online it'll be it'll be listed as a knockoff of G1 Jetfire. Let's turn those off. So, should you buy it? Um if you can get it for about 20 bucks, yeah, but don't pay 40 like I did. For that, just save up your money and get an actual Jetfire. Um you can get a a pretty decent one for a hundred and change or you can pay forty and get a slightly broken one but it would probably still hold together better than this thing did um, I think part of the problem I think this was these arms are supposed to slide in somewhere but um, they don't they don't slide they don't do anything they just kinda stay there but uh, I mean I'm I'm happy to have it I don't really have much of a choice. I could be happy or I could be pissed off. So, um, I'm going to be, I choose to be happy. I'm, I'm happy that I've got a, a stand-in for now. This is, this is a placeholder. And then when I get one, this one's probably going to get painted, um, completely opposite colors maybe. Maybe I'll go with black and, and red or just gold or, I don't know. <clears throat> I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll just, take the head out and put a Starscream head and this can be like I don't know I don't know but um yeah I'm I'm ice cream I can't believe I was gonna say I was I'm ice cream I'm I'm not Starscream either I'm what is who am I I'm Islip yeah I'm Islip um and uh, I'm done with the review it's up to you if you want to get this uh, it's always up to you if you want to get but I would say you could probably spend forty dollars for something a little bit better. This is just really not worth forty dollars. If you can find it for cheaper, if you can get it for half the price, then I think it's worth it. So, all right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good morning, Cybertron. With your hosts, Kingston333, Adam, Oscar, Max Ross Linden, and for mercy, Holson, it is 99s, T2 RX6, Skullface, Ray 9, Iceland Coco Liso, Doctor What, and Blumhole, the Tapeworm of Unicron. <laughs>